This is plus 63 HP reacts. Where a group of best friends, some handsome, handsome, some not, take your pick, watch and react to new trailers or some that we just haven't seen. We do this so that you guys can see what new content, whether movies, TV shows, games, or music, is coming in the future and to discuss what tickles our fancy and what does not. We shall try to provide more info as well as when these new content will drop and where. Hello, I am your host, Chubox. But for those who have seen uh, Queer Eye, you can call me Zaddy. It's Sexy Daddy. <laughs> Sorry, it's what? Zaddy. This is <laughs> Zaddy. <laughs> sexy Daddy. It's getting worse. <laughs> Next is the man from then- Brooklyn. My brother from another mother. The man who shares half my brain. The amazingly talented Joe. So I have new merch. Uh, uh, and, and I have lots of dates. So I'm very excited. Get to the update. Woo! Ne- uh, last and definitely the most is my other brother. The one who carries the three of us. Whether in looks or just in generally in life. Raymond. Hey everyone. Excited for these, for this very healthy lineup of of um of things that we have in store for you today just to remind you all we have not seen any of these trailers and if you're watching this episode with us then you're watching it we're we're watching it together this is the first time we're yes. going to do it so you need some company um, got you covered and if you need a date jong's got you covered too <laughs> oh housekeeping uh, we currently have three shows all under one YouTube channel. Just search plus six three HP on YouTube and you shall find it. Our first show is a plus six three HP reviews. Uh, in this show, we go deep into a few titles, whether movies or TV shows, and we have a healthy discussion on what we liked about it, what we didn't like about it, and whether we think this is something that will be worthwhile for you guys. Our second show is uh, our very first D&D campaign. If you want to watch a group of... G- uh, middle-aged guys play Dungeons and Dragons for the first time. Uh, come watch us. We've always wanted to play it. We've never have, but thanks to our new uh, DM Angelo, we're trying. So, and our <laughs> last show is this one, our reacts, um, where we watch some trailers and react. Um, these three shows drop all at twelve noon. For our review show, it drops on Tuesday, twelve noon Philippine time. D&D on Wednesday, 12 noon, and then the React show on Thursdays. All Philippine times, all 12 noon. We are also on Twitter and Instagram with the same handle, so please, anytime, hit us up at plus 63HP. We always reply. Now, if you're scared of my face or maybe Jong's face, which is very understandable, and you just want to listen to our voices, you can listen to our podcast. We are in most popular podcast services around the world. We especially love uh, Apple, Spotify, and Amazon. Now, just basic rules for the for our show. Uh, we for these trailers, we usually give a code, whether it's plus or minus. Plus, if you like it or love it. Minus, if you don't like it or you hate it. And then we also give context on uh, and say how hyped we are if you're going to watch it day one, a uh, VOD, video on demand, or when it's just free, or whenever we come across it again. So that's about it. Uh, let's start with updates. Let's go with uh, let's start with RJ first. Hmm. Okay. Well, it's been a busy week in terms of the family. Um, as we all know, or might know, or might have heard, the cases in the Philippines are increasing in terms of COVID. So my mother-in-law and our daughter, Jada, um, are showing symptoms. My mother-in-law tested positive. Um, Jada tested negative, but we're still observing her. I tested negative, so did Josie. So for the safety of everyone in the house, we isolated my mother-in-law in in her own room, Jada in her own room. Um, It's quite busy taking care or nursing um, two patients. Um, Thankfully, we're still keeping healthy. Uh, Josie and I have just do everything online, grocery, pet food. So just keep safe, everyone. That's basically my updates on my part. Okay. Yeah, so I'll go next. Uh, just been watching The Amazing Queer Eye, season six. 
uh, my daughter oh. just discovered it with us the, in the season yeah, and she loves, so loves it so much. She's crying every episode and she's so happy. Lucas is just like a boy's boy, like, screw you guys. <laughs> I'm watching my iPad on Minecraft, playing Minecraft, playing Halo, <laughs> whatever he can, can, can do to no, be not bored, as he, as he would say. Mm. Uh, also, um, we had uh, our 10th anniversary, wedding anniversary last Monday. Happy Woo! anniversary! We love you! Oh, some... still my favorite vacation ever. Ah, uh, thank you. We had some good steak, uh, some margaritas, and then Ooh. good talk. And then I've uh, been also discussing with RJ how, to, how he cooks the steak. So I've been practicing. I did one today. <laughs> They're not pretty good, good except good. for the butter burning. But everything's, uh, yeah, everything's a little better than last week. So there's that. And now we go to, uh, I don't know, uh, is this a movie? Five dates in seven days? <laughs> Let's go I to think Jones. it's a series. I know. <laughs> Jumps updates. Uh, you know, so again, we, we've discussed this a little bit in the past couple of, uh, in, a, in the past month and two months. So like around uh, mid-November, the, 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 my girlfriend then, the person I was seeing uh, quite seriously for around six months, like we kind of parted ways Um and it took me, you know, it took me a while, you know, a little over a month to, to lick my wounds. But mm -hmm. I, I decided to like, uh, be a little bit more aggressive in the dating end because I'm over it. Like I'm, 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 I hate it. People think that you know, meeting and enjoying multiple people is fun. It is. Forty percent of it is the sixty percent. You have to. Put on clothes. You have to dress up. You have to schedule. You're tired after work. Fucking yeah. Why shower. do you need to put on clothes? Oh why my do you need god. Clothes? Uh, uh, <laughs> and it's fucking expensive. Being the guy, I still like. You know, I'm old school that way. That I will still insist on paying, particularly for the first date. Uh, so mm -hmm. it's a lot of of effort. But um, the pa uh, you know the past couple of weeks, I've uh, kind of like workshop my my perfect online dating uh app opening line like uh it's kind of like your your online dating pickup line it's saying so i will share it privately with my friends but i will not share it publicly because it's it's fucking working it's fucking working and <laughs> and like just um you know just a a comparison i usually like i've been online dating for years i've been single for years um uh, but uh, I usually match with maybe three or four people every three months, right? That's kind of like the most. And this is me running out of swipes. Because again, I'm a tiny Asian dude in, in New York or in the Eastern quarter of the United States. I am not the demographic. I'm not the tall, handsome, white dude. My assets are once we get to dinner or in context with friends. That's where I kind of like, am more attractive to most people, but on online dating apps, no. My new pickup line, I've matched with, I think close to 10 people in the past two weeks, three weeks. So the, the rates are very, very high. So it's becoming well, but uh, I've, I've, um, I've matched uh, or I've, I've arranged dates with multiple people. So I wanted to do a Tuesday to Tuesday thing, but uh, unfortunately I wasn't uh, able to book every, all of the days, but, um, uh, and while, you know, fixing the, the, uh, the, the intro line for online dating apps um, and psyching myself up for, for aggressively dating in the first few months of the year, um, I've also started like just reading and researching, watching a lot of YouTube videos on how to really maximize the chances of you, not just in dating and in romance, but just general interaction with people. So I've realized that there are certain moves that I have not been doing that are fucking extremely easy to do and extremely successful if you're attracted to a particular purpose. And this is one that I will share. The chicken wing. So for anybody out there who uh, is, is still dating and wants to date, I cannot stress enough how 
awesome the chicken wing move is. And I don't know the actual word for it, but I call it the chicken wing. But in the end, if you're trying, if you're dating and you want to be intimate with that person, if you want to go for a kiss or if you want to go for a romantic hug or you want to bring him home to your apartment, bang. It's very difficult to fucking like go out to dinner and go out to drinks with a person. Like sometimes you might be across each other. So there's kind of like this imaginary barrier against you too. From That's there right. to intimacy, it's hard. Like you need to start initiating very safe, friendly, and trustworthy touch just so that your energies and your bodies are used to being close to each other. I've always walked my dates to the train station or to their cars before. Um, and I'm very shy about holding hands and kissing on the first date. And that becomes me a little bit more passive. Most women do not like passive men. So what I realized, you know, in talking to friends and watching a couple of YouTube videos, <laughs> just put your arm out, let them grab your hand. It's less intimate than holding hands. It's also in, in the United States, it's cold so it's body warm gentlemanly it's gentlemanly it's easier to walk when you're ha having somebody to lean on particularly if they're dressed up and wearing heels or whatnot it's such a wonderful move ever since i started doing the chicken wing i started closing i never used to kiss on the first date now out of my five dates i've i've only not kissed one of them and i've brought one home so it's working wonderfully and now it's like i'm at the phase now where i feel good about um about the situation where you know the problem with you know people like me who doesn't have a lot of options is you know subconsciously you kind of just emit the aura of being desperate um, because you haven't been with a person for a long time and that's kind of one of those things that you know women have an extrasensory perception of so um having multiple options, not being able to dwell on mistakes if you made any or the small little details makes you kind of like, all right, you're just in the moment. It's this person that I'm meeting. Plus, like, it's a different lady per night. I, I really can't, you know, confuse my brain with other details. I'm just like, I have my notes on this particular person and that's about it. So, yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's, been, a, it's been a good... Uh, so... Um, we are recording on a Saturday. I started my seven days on Tuesday. So Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. So five in five days into the seven days. Um, so I've had uh, four dates, all of which will have a callback, which is great on next week as well. That's why I extended seven dates in 10 days because I've been my first few people have already um, kind of we've scheduled uh, dates for, for next week. Um, enjoy people's company. They're interesting people, which is the most important thing. It's not just about like being able to kiss somebody new or, you know, bring somebody home, bring somebody home, somebody new. It's just like, I'm, you know, these are wonderful people to get to know. That's kind of great. And yeah, it's, it's, it's exhausting. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, sure. uh, it, it's, uh, it's fun and exhausting. Um, but also I know that once it gets to February and gets too cold here in the United States, particularly in New York. And if I do not have somebody locked down, I'm just going to stop. Uh, it's because like it's you know I'm I'm more than happy to just be crying in my apartment by myself than hunting again uh, by then with all of the coronavirus happening right now. So that's 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 the general part of it. So it's been fairly successful for the past uh, for uh, you know five days in. I have I think my most important date, at least for this stable of dates, is going to be tomorrow. Um, most of the time when I go out on dates, I'm very nervous and I hate it. Um, but for the first time in a very, very long time, I am, I feel confident enough that I am equipped with the tools to finally see whether the person that I'm seeing tomorrow, who I've seen before that I have a really, really major crush on likes me back or I have a chance and I'm also very confident in the fact that if there is no chance that I'm kind of like, all right, then then cool. Let's just let's just be 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 acquaintances. So I'm that's it's refreshing to have that feeling because I've always felt that fuck, this is the only date that I have this month. So I really need to make sure that this works. To so now and the fact that oh, you know what? 
we have options. We've had fun. It's it's fine. So that is for my my long update. Um, uh, and and thank you for listening. Very very. We inform- love it, man. We're happy. And also for those watching, Jong is looking for the one, not playing, looking to play around. Exactly. Exactly. So he's just trying to, to date, and you know, you you gotta meet people to find people. So. And and that's the little like the little hint that I will do because again I work really hard for my opening line that um, and if you guys are, are are picking somebody up in person or tech, sliding in somebody's DMs, um, the best advice that I could give is it's important to be very very clear in what you are looking for and what you want. And just make sure to write it in the most respectful way. So if you're just looking to have fun and meet people, be clear in that. Most people are saying that. But for me, it's been working because like what Shabak has mentioned, I'm applying for the position of boyfriend, right? Which kind of, of, of alludes to that I'm not dating around or I don't want to date around. I'm looking for something a little bit more substantial than just possibly banging and then seeing where it goes. No, I don't like that. I've banged enough people. I'm happy. Like I'm, I'm, I'm satisfied with the experience that I've had. Do I want more? Of course, but not at the expense of my mental health, my financial health in my career because like everything is busy fucking corona is out there you can't just like go out um you know these dates now it's logistic it's a logistical nightmare because you have to keep on checking with them because are do they feel fine do i feel fine i don't want to put anybody at risk i also don't want to be put i don't want to get corona because if i get corona right now that's gonna postpone my dating two weeks so um for me that's what i'm kind of like alluding to i'm looking to find a girlfriend, not somebody to date, not somebody like, let's have fun. No, that's not me. And luckily, the people in my age, it's a lot more receptive to that. So that's it. That's good. Awesome. Oh, awesome. You're and always praying. You know, for that. we are. We're praying for the one, man. Praying for that. Yeah. And then oh. RJ has somebody to email to me or put in an Amazon box too. So I got all, <laughs> all hemispheres covered, baby. Let's go. And with that, we'll start with our reactions. And this one I picked just because of Joe. Titled Sex Appeal. Let's see. What <laughs> it's, on Hulu. it's on Hulu. Is this Paris Jackson, the child of Michael Jackson? Larson, it is. I need you to come over to my house and hook up with me every day. No, school. no sound box. What? Reshare. Oh, yeah, you, me. There, are you good? Larson, I need you to come over to my house and hook up with me every day after school. What? Yeah, you, me, what? sex stuff. What? How about a little backstory. While I was setting the academic bar for our generation, my classmates were more concerned with other things. Avery, I'm DTF. Oh, shit. We both know you don't do things you're not great at. God, I can't be bad at this. This is not the time to be a perfectionist. I'm going to blow. You blow whatever you're comfortable with. To master sexual excellence, what? I'm going to create an app that would collect data and prescribe steps for a successful sexual experience. I should be collecting data from my fellow students. I should be collecting data. There are certain partner pleasure approaches, the rock and roll, the surf's up, the double action revolver, the Spock, the reverse Spock. Damn. If you want to be a dick-sucking artist, a penis Picasso, a bone egg, <laughs> a sweet of cocklo. Bone <laughs> All about the tip. Have you selected a practice partner yet? I can't sexualize you. I respect you too much for your brain, for your independence. My God. I can't believe you just did that. It's fair play. Technically, it's foreplay. Don't be mad at the confidence. Here we go. Godspeed. I think we can call today's experiment a success. I have a hypothesis. Love leads to sex, and sex leads to love. Our dynamic needs to remain strictly professional for the sake of the experiment. So if we're not doing your experiment, we can't hang? You kids are overly worried about getting good at the sex stuff. It's a relationship that takes practice. Stay safe. Larson, are we ready? Make it rain. I love this show already. You just launched a harpoon without tying the rope off. I'll tie it off. 
I, I have several ropes. Ribbed ropes, pre-lubed ropes. <laughs> okay, reel it in, Skipper. Is that the daughter of Michael Jackson? You gotta try things to know what I you think want. so. There's a diversity of options. You've got your lefties, your righties, your straight shooters, your curvatures. Cool, cool. I'll just be at Hometown Buffet sampling the local beef. Don't be mad at the confidence. <laughs> I'm so glad we're in the uh, we're in a generation where this is normal. Imagine ten years ago, high school kids having sex on TV <laughs> or college. It seems like high school. Seems like high school. I mean, that trailer like alone would end up shown. Would been shown. <laughs> I'm in. I know. This is a plus for me. You're in. I'm I in. Know. I'm. I don't know. I'm. I, I think I'm a negative for that. I mean, I'm just I'm not at the stage anymore where it looks funny though. How about you, Jay? It's a negative for me. Okay. I think they're too young. I'm I'm being my conservative self. Um I think they're they're too young to do this on screen. I'm not saying high school kids don't have sex. I mean I won't cast that first stone. All right. Mm -hmm. But Wait, Everybody high school people action. have sex? <laughs> what? I know, right? That's unbelievable. But what anyway. did I do when I was in high school? <laughs> Definitely not having sex. Uh... <laughs> I'm still a virgin. So for me, it's just a negative. Like I don't know if I'm I, in that I... frame of mind to watch something like that. I mean, I'll, mm. I'll wait for Jong's review if it, if it's if it keeps being funny. No, it, it looked funny, but the topic. Well, the topic of just they just look just basically they just look so young. I mean, yeah, they look so young. Being me, being a being go, go. a dad and you as well, Chewy, yeah. being a dad. But I, I don't know. I, I I don't want my kids to to see that and say that. Oh, so it's okay. Oh, um, anyway, I, cause I prom's coming. I gotta be an expert. I'm gonna start blowing and testing, and I don't. I know society today; it's different. A lot of things are more liberal. I don't know. But, For me, I went the opposite. Yeah. I mean, I know what kids have done, what kids are doing. So instead of being stressed and countering it, I just have at it. Just be responsible, you know, be nice. So I wouldn't. I, suppose. I mean. I would want Lucas to be doing shit that I wasn't be able to do <laughs> when I was young. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, you want your the next generation to have a better and experience, and Bella, I mean, Yes, and Lucas and Bella. So, you know, as long as he's not irresponsible. And, I mean, of course, not too young. But you know, it, it's what they're going to be doing when they grow up. So, as long as they know what they're doing. But, yeah. yeah. So, okay. but I'll, wait for, I'll, I'll wait for Jones' comments on that. Deferring so, uh, opinions. So a plus and a two minus. Uh, next one. Oh, just, before the next one, Chabax, uh, yeah. switch the Can share you screen to yeah. the, the YouTube because you're sharing oh. uh, OBS right now. Oh, okay. For our screen, so we have a bigger view. Chabax on the ones and twos. Oh yeah. Okay. So next, I just wanted to, <laughs> I wanted to see how, how far Bruce Willis has fallen. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, let's see. He's also been in a Nicolas, He's been in a Nicolas Cage rampage as well with the B movies. Or maybe even C and D. So uh, this is American Siege. I haven't seen it at all. I wouldn't go there, Sheriff. Baker. The sheriff is here. I thought you were in the big house. Got out a few hours ago. You want to negotiate, kid? You know exactly who to ask to get what we want. Let's go see your daddy. My daddy don't like surprises. Why is she talking I like understand. that? <laughs> is he trying an accent? Drunk? It's Dr. Keith. Or drunk. Can you clean this up? What in God's name possessed him to do this? Bridget was everything to me. The last time she was seen, she was coming here to Dr. Keats's house. So here's what's what. Solve the disappearance of Bridget Baker. 
or or I start sending out John Keats piece by piece till you got them all. Dr. Keats means a great deal to this town. Kyle's inside now. What? You sent my only son in there to deal with them. We don't have time for games. Get in there. Get my son. Kill the rest. A bloodbath won't do anything. You hurt my boy. Now there ain't holy violence down upon you. My family. They built this town. I'm the sheriff of this county. Don't forget who put you there. It's so stupid. It looks like a... Like a home movie. We're doing the Lord's work here. So the, 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 there are people that abducted a town's doctor so that they can find what an explanation to a crime that happened to them. And then the big bad son was sent in to... Oh my God. Pass. Yes. Double negative. Double a. I don't even know what, what, what why we're speaking like that. It's so weird. So that's a triple Double. negative. It's like something that will come up. Uh, it, it's something that will come out on, uh, I would say, one of the HBO channels on your cable, mm-hmm. local cable. Hundred percent. Something in the middle of the night that you know you just not. Not even watch HBO, anymore. like Cinemax or something. Cinemax, exactly. <laughs> it's and literally yes, made, no, for, it's, made for made for. Does he need for money? D- like straight to DVD. Does he need money? Or Huge <sighs> negative. I don't know. I don't know what's happening to uh, fucking uh, Bruce Willis. Bruce Willis. Okay, next one is the tragedy of Macbeth. So this one I've I've seen ads for in in Twitter, and it looks great. Something. And it has Denzel Washington. Ooh. Oh, it's Apple. Eight twenty four. I'm gonna watch it even more now. Oh, look at that, McDermott. Joe Cohn. We fail. Didst thou not hear noise? We thought I heard a voice oh. cry, sleep no more. It reminds me of a, an I old movie shot in there. I can't remember what the movie is. Be- it is beautiful. Wow. Is this a movie or a series? It's a movie. Oh, it's it's, a, a it's movie. an actual play. But you can only buy it in Apple. I have no words. My voice is in my soul. Oh, it's it? Oh. The 24 guy. I like that guy. Oh wow! This looks, this looks beautiful. Yeah, yeah, it's good. But it, it's uh, so what I heard about it's like it's the actual old English language from the play. Oh, so I, I'm just I'm, visually I, stunning. So I was like, I like that. I I, I want to see Denzel sprout some Shakespearean stuff. Yeah. Oh I'm yeah, excited. definitely. That's, that's a plus. A plus. Room. Yeah, plus plus. Great. Plus I'm, plus. I'm plus. Right. The plus minus minus. Ooh. Our, okay, you know what? I don't even have to watch it. I'm 100% in. Do you know how much I love fucking Queer Eye and everybody involved with it? Ah. Yep, the uh, next three. Oh my God. I, okay. I love him so much. So, next one is another Netflix show Getting Curious with Jonathan Van Ness. I love him. One of the guys from the Fab Still Five. I can't believe that dragonflies have two penises. Hi, I'm Jonathan. <laughs> <laughs> I have burning questions and I need answers. Why is hair so major? Am I dependent on snacks? Are bugs gorgeous or gross? If you want to let her walk on your hand, that's fine. My private parts are tingling with fear just <laughs> thinking about that feeling. 
I've never done a single axle before. Wow, that was really good. Are wigs about just wanting to be something different? It's about the ultimate self-expression. Oh, we're trying to think of ways to reimagine food. We really hooked up the crickets on that one. <laughs> I'm going to be embarking on a new journey of learning more. When you eat a bunch of sugar, your brain has changed. Of opening my mind, learning new perspectives. We represent being able to create a life that's outside of what we've been told that you should be. And I've got a lot to learn. Fashion can invite someone to re-love themselves. You look divine. Hit it, hit it, hit it, let's go. Fitting. Focus! This is a huge universe to explore and to learn about. Oh my god! What a I concept! What? So I'm cool surprised nobody you. thought of this before. I can't get enough. I'm like, his so basic perfect. questions. <laughs> yes, a bunch oh, of no, questions. Oh no, there's a lot. There's, yes. No, there's, there's a lot. Bro. There's a lot. There's a lot. Like every bro. like discovery or history Ew. channel, like in different <laughs> ways. Oh, I, Just I like don't. Very basic. Like a I don't movie. watch those. <laughs> Like on Netflix, like watch the Vox or Explain. It's all about simple stuff. You know, what is money? What is credit card? So uh, I uh, definitely am a plus here, but a little background. When the, the reboot of Queer Eye happened, I fucking hated the two people that I hated the most there was Jonathan Van Ness and Karamo. Because I felt that they were, what, what, Karamo useless. Like, you know, you're just pretending to be a psychiatrist, but not. Um, so I felt that. And then I hated Jonathan Van Ness because he was over the top. Like, it's like, it's, mm -hmm. it's too much. But the more I watched Queer Eye, I just fell in love. They, they complete 180. I fucking, I love his extraness. I like his vibrancy in life. You know, he's fit, but he doesn't look fit. Like, unlike the other people in Fab Five, they're all like ripped and buff. No, he's he looks like a regular person. His hair is gorgeous. My hair is gorgeous. I love it. I'm super plus. I'm, I'm, I'm going to binge that in one. I'm day. plus plus. Oh, when was that coming out? 28. Fuck. I want it to come out now. How about you, Jay? I think it's refreshing to see the different angles that Jonathan uh, Vaness can, can bring out. Um, especially since he's going to be doing this. I guess it's all about him. He's not going to have anyone else with him. So yeah. mm. let's see. Yeah. A plus? Let's watch it. Okay. Plus. Okay. Next one is a new Netflix K drama. This one, I think, I haven't seen the trailer, but I'm excited with the poster that I saw. Oh. I like the title. All of us are dead. Zombie. Okay, there we go. <laughs> I like that. I like that he, he like, okay, shit. Whoa. Whoa. Some exercise. It's like high school of the dead. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I'm always in for a well done zombie movie. Yeah. I mean... <laughs> What's, what's, what's their plan there? Uh, yeah. Well, I guess they didn't know. <laughs> I, it's weird because like a, 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 a horror movie, gonna, they're not gonna disperse. <laughs> like the uh, the a zombie movie in particular, in any horror movie, the line between this is crap and this is something that I'm gonna watch is so thin, and mm -hmm. I don't know what the, what it is about this movie, but I I, I was enticed. I, I like the, you know, it's basic. So like, but I don't know. I don't know what about, I'll, I'm a plus here. Okay. Jay. When is this coming out again? Sorry. Hey, let me check. Yeah. It'll be soon. Keep forgetting to see it. 
28. Okay, 28. Well. January 28. All right. So I'm a plus. Okay. How about you, Jay? I'm a plus as well. Um, I was looking for a zombie movie with the silent save, but uh, maybe this maybe, one. Maybe we get it here. Okay. Yeah. So this one is see. the full trailer for Moonfall. Oh, Moonfall. I've made a shocking discovery. I need you to get me in touch with NASA immediately. Well, NASA and I aren't really on speaking terms these days. Oh, that'll change. When you tell them that the moon is out of orbit. There's no need to panic. I'm not crazy! Why are they lying about all this? It's too late to stop. You knew all this was happening before NASA. You are the unidentified source? Oh, yes. <laughs> We're dealing with an intelligent entity. Oh, oh they explained it already. This thing. Oh. I'm asking you for your help. Okay. Um... Say yes, Brian. I need you to be brave. If the moon really is what you think it is, suit up. You have got a big gravity wave coming your way. You have to launch now. Did he say gravity wave? Trouble on the way. We're underwater, guys. Uh, that's crazy. No. Massive destruction. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, Wait for it. Let's go, you son of a. Overcut this trailer. Holy shit. It's on airplane mode. Uh, I'm a plus there. I, I, I want a popcorn Aww. movie. I want a popcorn movie. Uh, I'm I'm disappointed uh, because I was a plus because I love a, a uh, end of the world mm. thing. Like, hey, the core is still one of my favorite movies. Yeah. I will watch it whenever it's on. But they gave us two. They, it gave it away. <laughs> I'm still a plus, though. Okay, yourself plus. I don't know. I I turned out to be a minus. I I think was it the trailer... was it the car jumping on this thing? Yes, it was just was too it the unrealistic. Snake monster? Uh-huh. It's yeah. lost. Actually, it's a it's a sequel let, to let, Lost. Let, let me just say it's 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 a lot of those things. I thought it was gonna be more of a serious movie. The first trailer or the sneak peek was it seemed a little bit more serious, and um, I don't know. Maybe this it was became, different from this became more core the core than Armageddon. Yeah, something to that extent. So, uh. I don't know. It it turned me off a bit. Um, uh, it's it's a minus for me. Or if ever I do watch it, um, when it's free. free. Or something. Okay, I gotcha. Okay, the next one is the last thing Mary saw. Rory Culkin. I have no idea what it is. It's Mary. What do you say? It's Mary. Yeah, our daughter's ears are deaf to the Lord's preachings. Oh, shudder. So it's horror. To engage in acts with the housemaid. Correction is needed. Mary. Knees and prayers. I'm tired of a life spent hiding. Our fear and weakness keep us here. What troubles you? I fear sinful affection could bring death upon this family. Huh? Eleanor? Hmm? They brought evil into this house. 
you recite the Lord's Prayer for us. Christ, fortify your members which are upon the earth. Fornication, uncleanness, fear, affection, weakness. Keep us here. Our faith. Is that, um, was that Malkovich? It seems like. These are good actors. Eh, I don't know what it's about. <laughs> yeah, me too. Hmm. I, I want something more. Minus for me for now. I want, I want yeah. something that explains stuff. Yeah. Or at least, is it really horror? Or is it just like, you know? Culty suspense. Yeah. But it is Shudder, so. But I don't know. The thing I said, don't have Shudder, so. Okay. The minus, minus because of that. How about mm -hmm. you, Minus? Okay. Minus. Next one is a Netflix show. Archive 81. We're looking for an artist. Someone who can restore a recently acquired collection of damaged videotapes. Well, uh, what kind of damage? Fire damage. There's just one hitch, because the materials are so fragile, they can't be moved. So you'd be doing the work at our remote research facility. Creating this archive, putting this puzzle together, well, it would mean the world to everyone who lost someone in that fire. Already in. I'm Melody Pendris. It's March 11th, 1994, 1032 a.m. This is day one of the Oral History Project on the Visser Apartment Building. I'm now gonna go knock on some doors. Wish me luck. Here. Oh, series. Hear what? There's something in this place that calls to you. Yo! Dan, is everything good? You, you doing okay? You said that you've been seeing things up here. Mark, I'm fine. I promise. What is going on in this building? What kind of game are you playing? Looks like an alien. Who are you? We're pioneers. Stuff. We're going to succeed the whole of time. Opie is one. Please, please find me. I am, I'm in. I'm in, but it, it is highly dependent on how many episodes it is. Let's Correct. If they do like 20 episodes, then nah, nobody does that anymore. Archive if it's 81. four, binge. Eight. Oh, Eight. Okay, oh, okay. Is... perfect. That's yeah, good. I think it's just good. Okay. I, I like that. I like the concept of you don't know if he's getting crazy, if it's mm. occult, cult, or if it's actually super demonic. So, mm. yeah, right. So, I like the combination of all of those. I'm cool. All in. That's I'm, it. All in. I'm glad. And it's Netflix. Okay, the next is The Puppet Master Hunting the Ultimate Con Man. Netflix. Okay. I like Mom, a good documentary. It doesn't matter what we've been through. We still love you and we want you back in our lives. Mom was so young when she met Dad. Sandra was my first real love. But that didn't work out. So she decided to start online dating. All of it started when David came in. He said that he worked in the media, that he's a busy man, but I never saw him go off to work. I had no idea what was going on. She was distancing herself from us. I didn't know who she was becoming. Two years after they first started dating, Mom and David left the house. I didn't think that, that would be the last time that me or my children would see her. <laughs> who is this guy? What does he want? Couldn't find anything on him, but I looked further. 
I first came to hear about the Robert Freeguard. We knew that we were dealing with an imposter. He'd pretended to be a spy. He'd taken hundreds of thousands of pounds. As far as the FBI was concerned, he was traveling from country to country undetected for 10 years. Mm. It was like chasing a ghost. Ooh. He controlled everything in my life, where I went, what I did. Mm. He'd psychologically entrapped them. It suddenly all made sense at once. It was just too similar to what had happened all those years ago. It just seems that there's someone pulling the strings. I believe the person behind all of this is Freeguard. Is he a serial killer at all? Or is I just... haven't seen my mum in seven years. We don't know where she is. This man should be known because of the damage he's done. There are other women out there that maybe need to be saved. I don't care how long it takes. We will never give up. Interesting. I might, I'm, I'm going to watch it. Going to watch that? I like, I like yeah. this, but I mean, I like the, the, yeah. Um, I, but I'm I'm cautious because the problem with Netflix docu series is they try to extend it. That it's like they could have done this in two episodes. They'll probably do four. Mm, but also, okay. I'm not a big fan of con men because I always feel like I know they manipulate people. Um, but I always feel like there's you have a little bit of involvement there. Like you, like you as the victim, allowed this to happen. So we'll. But it's just, it seems interesting because of the what you've mentioned, um, uh, Jay. It might be a serial killer. It might be just, mm. uh, you know, so, okay. How many? I, I'm yeah. assuming it's going to be four. So next we okay. have, I want to see, you know, when um, Taken came out, we were so in love with Liam Neeson. Liam Neeson. And then he started just doing the same thing. And I want to see how his action movies stand up after the post John Wick era. You know, so uh, let's see. One day you wake up and here. realize you're not sure who the good guys are anymore. You're a federal agent involved in a secret FBI program. Off the books. What kind of bad stuff do you do? Breaking and entering. Physical coercion. Wait, is that girl. You name it. The one from Birds of Prey? Murder? Let's see that again. Not on oh yeah, it looks you. like it. It's a little chubbier now. Gabe, yeah. I've been thinking. Maybe it's time I hang it up. No, Travis, not enough. I know I wasn't a great father, but I'd like to be the best grandfather I can be. Natalie doesn't need a fixer like you. I've been writing about the story for over a year. The United States government is killing innocent civilians under the guise of protecting democracy. Under whose orders? Hmm. The director of the FBI. How many more have to die for you to stop looking the other way? You need to come clean, Gabe. You're confused about our relationship. You are my weapon. You work for me. Count me out. You show me a little gratitude if you want a normal life. My end is now. Where's my family? If I find out you had anything to do with my granddaughter disappearing, you're gonna need more men. <laughs> You'll be finished before that day is over. Everything I did was for you. Are you really gonna shoot me, Travis? Yes, I will. <laughs> Grandpa, are you a good guy? No, I have a very certain, a very s special select skills. skills. Yeah. I don't know. It looks like it, it's Sierra, so I'm a minus. This is a this is a, a if it comes on Netflix, I'll watch it. I'm I'm a mm. minus. It just seems like so much of his Generic. other movies, yeah. Mm -hmm. 
It's too much of the same thing. I'm sorry. It's a minus for me. Liam sneezes. And this one, nothing. Oh, that's not need introduction. I'm actually exci excited about this. We brought in a number of new cast members. I want to say my name. All right, say your name. This is Zach. I'm Jasper. And this is Body Surf, your mother. This is my first movie. It was really great to be invited into the crew and everything. What did you think when you got the call to come in and sit down with us? First thought was, hopefully I don't die. <laughs> then I was like, hey, at least I'll die on camera. <laughs> How you doing over there, Rachel? We man's going to space. <laughs> It made me laugh so hard, and I'm literally seeing childhood heroes of mine like come to life. Grandpa, are you okay? Oh. My mind is blown. <laughs> I'm Eric. I'm from South London. I love skating, and I love getting a bit hurt. No, I don't want to get hurt. Big time movie star. <laughs> my friend Chip goes, hey, I want to introduce you to a couple of my friends. I want you to come test out for Jackass. Do you think they get paid for that? And I was like, no way. Of like, course. Speechless at that moment. It's a Texas rat snake. Yeah, uh, venomous? <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't. You don't love snakes. <laughs> that was the best. Yeah, uh, venomous? <laughs> <laughs> That's the best answer. No, That's the best answer. No. Oh my god. I was pretty nervous getting brought into this movie, honestly, because I'm doing like crazy stuff with all these people that I've looked up to my entire life. Oh! Oh! The Texas guys are getting old, we paid our dues, so we're handing the torch to you. <laughs> oh my god. The new people that we're working with are great, and we've been destroying them throughout this film. <laughs> oh. Did you guys feel like you had to earn it with the guys? For sure. I was so nervous, but yeah, it was a dream come true. That's the best part. It's like, yeah, I'm afraid of doing this. Oh my god. Oh. But it's gonna look awesome. Yeah, they have better cameras now. That's stung? That, that's the one I love. Icarus. The scorpion stung the fucking shit. Lip. <laughs> Is it poisonous? I, I've never liked Jackass, but when I saw it, the Jackass forever, because I think this is the last one of them, right? It's going to be the last video movie. They'll probably like this new, yeah, the new, the new generation, never, but like. You never know. Yeah, but so yeah, I'm excited to actually watch this. A plus? How about you? Plus. plus. I. Plus, plus. I always was against it because I'm against pranks and you know um, whenever uh, I saw it, it was like it, it's not good it's too dangerous but then when you do watch I did watch it like uh, one of their shows you just laugh <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, you can't help it so that's a plus for me and the next one is it's like a satire wait pause pause Look at look at this fucking title. The woman in the house across the street from the girl in the window. No, it's a satire because there's a there's a movie. <sighs> the girl across the street. Or okay. uh, you know the girl like, in the window. The yeah, woman the in, in the window. window. Yeah, yeah. So so there's like a, a genre where somebody's seeing like a neighbor, you know, mm -hmm. from a window in, in danger. So this is like a um, a comedy on that. Okay. Uh, hi, I'm Anna. The truth is that I drink. Ooh, okay, I'm in. 100%. I drink a lot. And sometimes I mix it with I love pills. Kristen, though. And I'm here because I woke up this morning convinced I'd witnessed a murder. Someone has been murdered. I saw. They said you saw a murder. She is batshit crazy. I'm not crazy. <laughs> Someone's gotta believe me. And she has a serious drinking problem. No. Okay. <laughs> you get that knife out of my Can face? Can you stop telling people that I have a drinking problem? You know, I used to feel bad for you. But I do not feel bad for you anymore, and I will not pray for you anymore. Carol. Well, if they won't be the detectives, then I will. <laughs> Do you mind if I ask you a few questions? Are you a reporter? Yes. Then why aren't you recording this? 
the woman across the lake. <laughs> this book could make your imagination run wild. I need to see inside the bag. The fuck is this? Wherever you go, people end up dead. What? I just want things to get back to normal. I bet they do a dateline on it. What are <laughs> they up to? You wouldn't mind answering a few questions for us. There you go. That's your left thumb. <laughs> How's your day going? <laughs> Fine. I'm worried about you. I'm gonna be okay. Hello? I know what I saw. Didn't I? It's like a serious comedy. A red or white? Oh, no, thank you. I don't drink wine anymore. I'll have a vodka. <laughs> it's a movie, right? I think, yeah, yeah. I think so. I'm in. I'm in just because it's Kristen Bell. And it seems, <laughs> it seems I, I'm interested to know what the thing, because like, I don't know what the thing is yet. What do you mean? Right? Like, I don't know whether, um, is it going to be psychological or is it going to be like, she actually did find a murder and it seems like they're going to do There seems to be a lot of death in that trailer. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So that's a, it's a thing. So yeah, I mean, I'm, in. I'm in. RJ doesn't seem to be in. Not so. Not so. I don't know. Not so in. Okay, this one is the Uncharted clip. I don't know why they keep showing so many stuff. Hey, come on! <laughs> That's nice, Kurt. Looks good. Mm. See, this is what I, I I like about this clip, and I hate about anything that is involved like flying and parachuting. They don't do the hair. Hey, brother! We found your loose end. Uh, uh, now get rid of her. So see the hair. It's not moving. Needs to be like that, like flapping around. Well, it's flapping. It's on wax or something. Mm. But you, you can see that the the hair is moving quick. Nathan. Oof. Oh, your fucking skull is bashed in. I want to watch it, but I don't want to watch it in the cinema. Um, I'm gonna watch it, That's but true. uh, it's gonna be I have to on demand. We'll I would have watched it. In, yeah, I would have watched it in the cinema because it's it's a popcorn yeah. flick in a reaction sequence. So and I'll watch last... it in a cinema with the guy friends if there's no COVID. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, if if Joey, if it's here, I'll watch it with you. You know, things like that. But I I don't think I'll I, my I don't think Josie my wife would would yeah, go that. to the cinema for this. 
So yes. I'm very excited about this. Next Cats have liked it. So this is a featurette. I this is the only one I've seen about all, all the trailers. I just when is this be, coming out? I I just saw clips of this. I don't know. Is it a movie or is it a series? Series. I sakupin ang planeta Terra Air. Ooh. Not bad for the prince. The CGI looks decent. It's a skull. It's a symbol of death. <laughs> What's that line? Napaka overwhelming ng buong scale ng production, and I think this is one of the biggest projects ng Jin. It doesn't Sets look the cheap. Costumes, ibang klase talaga ang attention to detail. Yeah, it's much better than what you normally From get in the, the Filipino of the live action uh, sequences and level. the computer generated special effects. Talagang maaliwat matutuwa kayo. Dude, can you be even more unnatural in your fucking Sobra interview? Sobrang kami excited to show you what we have been working on for the past few years. Talagang set up natin. I mean, so unnatural. It's like, who wrote your script, bro? Kaya naman namin kayo. For one yep. epic ride. Right. Join us and be together. Uh, who? You mean you want Let's to get an epic ride? Right? Bolt, Bolt Bomber, ready. In. Bolt Panzer, ready. Bolt Frigate, ready. Bolt Lander, ready. So wait, why didn't they pick the the, the, the kid? I, I don't know why they didn't show him. Wait. Is it a surprise? No, they didn't show him. Move it! Umpisahan ng pagwasak sa kanilang lahat. We fight until we can. Raise yourself! See, the CGI looks great. Hopefully, it's consistent across all the stuff. It's the live action that I didn't like. Uh, Sorry. Well, the live action pass. <laughs> Big Bird was supposed to be yellow. I, uh, or am I thinking of Voltron? I think it's different. Yeah. I know there's a, the kid is supposed to be in... There's a, the kid is no, supposed to be... No, he's in green be, here. He's, yeah, he's in green. Okay. Well, I'm, I'm, I, w- I don't know how I'm gonna watch it, but hmm. we'll see. I, I, it's a pass for me. I, it's the, it's a skull, the symbol of death. Symbol, symbol of, of death. death. The f- what if it's just a skull? It's it. What if it's a torso in a different alien world? <laughs> Is it a vision? It's a fucking ship they made into a skull <laughs> to scare people. What do you mean? It's a vision, symbol of death. So that's a minus for me, plus plus for John. But does it? No, 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 minus off. for me, bro. No, I'm not gonna spend my time watching that. RJ supply. I don't even. Th- I don't even think it's worth torrenting for me. <laughs> <laughs> I would not watch it. I mean, I'll I'll look at the CGI, but I don't think I'll be following the story. I just, I mean, I like Voltus Five. I love, but Voltus. the moment, yeah. So who's the one that's? Brothers, mm. Steve, big Steve, the big guy and the small guy, the and the kid, right? Are they brothers? Yeah, aren't they brothers? Wait, I forget, man. Are, it's been wait, so long. I think we're mixing it with Voltron. No, Volt. No, no, no. They're, they're family because their their father yes. is the one who made Voltus Five, and then. The prince, the bad guy, is their half brother, from what I remember. Mm, yes, half brother. That's right. Anyways, but so yeah, that's a lot of shows, a lot of mm. plus, couple of minuses. 
but um i had a lot of laughs today so that's amazing as always finishing at uh, an hour or four um mm -hmm. yeah that's it uh and uh, goodbyes uh jay well for all you viewers out there mm. please uh stay safe if you have a chance to be uh, to get a booster or vaccinated, please think about it. I hope you do. Um, and if you are going to stay at home and work from home, and you're probably thinking, I'm going to be bored if I just stay home, then watch our episodes watch with us. Watch and with us. <laughs> watch with us and um, um, check our recommended shows and maybe something will tickle your fancy. And as you see, the three of us are not always... Um, always agreeing with all of the things that we want to watch and that's okay because all our viewers are very unique as well each one of you may agree with us and some might disagree with us and that's fine this is what's great about this community so join us like us follow and um, join the discussions by watching the same shows we do let's hear what you think in the comments John uh, I, thanks for for joining us again. Uh, I love the this react show because um, now I did not know Jonathan Vanessa's show, so that's definitely something I'm going to look forward to. And I love looking forward to things. I'm excited to scheduling the tragedy of Macbeth. That's going to be a that's probably a good date night kind of movie, a um, little mm. bit cultured. And I'm I'm uh, looking forward to knowing a little bit more about the woman in the house across the street from the uh, from the girl in the window. So, um, see, I think like, I have no idea what these shows are. I'm very excited that there's like a, a variety of of things that um, we can schedule to look forward to and watch, you know, or maximize our streaming service Netflix. So it's like I'm I'm mm. I'm super duper excited about um, you know a lot of these shows, and I actually like. Um, uh, like what RJ has mentioned, I like just seeing where we disagree in both reviewing episodes as well as reacting to trailers because it's it's uh, like oh, maybe maybe uh, maybe I'm too high on a few things or maybe I'm too low on a few mm -hmm. things. So um, hopefully you get th that kind of idea as well. But the most important thing about this this the show is, you know, we hope that you, we've turned you on to content that you could get excited about because life is hard. COVID is still out there. We're stuck at home. You know, any anything that we could do safely inside our, our homes, either alone or with our pod, our select people of safe people to keep us more safe is is will hopefully help your 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 quality of living a little bit more. So stay safe. Excited for our D and D and more recordings in the next few weeks. Yes, yeah, so finally. For me, I'm really most excited about is Archive 81. I like those mystery stuff. <laughs> and all of us are dead again. <laughs> so, yeah, for me, I just love the show because that's what I've been done. You know, whenever I'm you know, alone, stuck at home, before we even started the show in the Zoom, I watched the reacts because it just made me feel like I was watching with you guys, you know, somebody else. I could see somebody's reaction. Mm -hmm. So, oh, yeah, I always like, uh, and I loved making these shows, so... Um, about uh, with that, um, you know, don't forget to like, subscribe, you know, um, hit us um, on Twitter, Instagram, like, comment. Um, we're so close. I just checked. We're at 96 now. So four more down to four. <clears throat> don't forget. Uh, you can also download us up on our pod, on the podcast. So with that, uh, we'll be safe and we'll see you on our next show. That. Bye-bye. Peace out.